Well, hello everybody. It's Brother Todd with you, Victory Minute, and I hope you guys and gals out there all having a great day. Sorry I hadn't got to be out here in internet land. It's been a pretty hectic 10 or 12 days, but, uh, but glad to be back with you today. And uh, coming to you from inside our sanctuary, the back part of our sanctuary in front of what we call our Victory at Home Station. It's hard to kind of show you right now in the back of our sanctuary is a, there's a display built up. It actually looks like a house. I don't know, you might can even just kind of see that. If you ever do get to come to the sanctuary, uh, stop by, there's all kind of materials for things going on with, with your family, raising kids and putting up with your husband and all those kinds of things. But um, I was gonna make this outside and uh, but the wind's blowing too hard. And the reason I wanted to make it outside was that all the kids are having their last day of school here at Victory Prep. And, that snow cone machine, uh, so, snow cone truck was here and they was out there playing and having a big old time. And I got to thinking about, ooh, I remember how happy I was when it was the last day of school. And it got me thinking about an opportunity that all of you mamas and daddies and grandpas and grandmas and uncles and aunts and friends and neighbors have this summer, is you have an opportunity to have an intentional summer. The time you're about to have with those kids is, is it can be so very influential in their life. I don't remember much that went on during school, so to speak, uh, when I was little, but I can just about, if I put my mind to it, I can tell you pretty much everything I did in the summer from the time I was in kindergarten on up because I really <laughs> hated school. And so boy, when I, was, when I was loose from school, I was happy, okay? And I look back in my life and I think about the opportunities of being with my, my family and my extended family. You know, grandma, grandpa, summer is a great time uh, to, to spend time with those kids and give your kids a break. And especially with as many uh, folks as mom and daddy's both having to work and all those kinds of things out is to take and, and let those grandkids be there and, and spend time with them. Um, Brother David Gilmer, our uh, connections pastor here at the church, uh, we'll get to talking about his old grandpa and he would come in the summertime and spend almost a month with them working on the farm and that kind of thing because they were out there in East Texas and he grew up there in Dallas. And so th just that, those deep, deep roots, uh, you uncles, okay? Hey, this is the time you take, you take them, them nieces and nephews fishing. It's those times you get out and, and you do things with them. Lots of you guys and gals, y'all ride and things like that. Get them on them four wheelers. Get them, uh, be careful if you got them on them four wheelers. Get them horseback, same thing. Whatever it is that you kind of do, be sure you're spending a lot of time with them. Mom and daddy, take that day off work. Take that day off work. Take them to the museum. Take them, take them, uh, 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 you know, just to have that day trip in Dallas. Let them, let them, if you're around here in the country, let them see the city. If you're in the city, let them go see the country. Uh, make that drive out. Go to that, that patch of this. Go buy those, those fresh vegetables. Go spend that day trip. Just go somewhere close. You know, there's so many things that you can do. Just be intentional. Be intentional in spending time with them. Be intentional in the things you're teaching them, right? This is a great time to start new family habits. We sit down at the dinner table to eat. We, every Thursday night, you got teenagers, make every Thursday night during the summer family night, okay? Uh, now the kids, the teenage boys and girls, they gonna fight you over Friday and Saturday night, but make Thursday night the, the, the game night. Make it where it's, we have dinner together, no matter how far flung we are and we're all we're going. Just, just do those things that are intentional. Be very intentional as you read through your Bible, as you as you work on yourself, getting ready for summer. This, this Victory at Home Station, guys, is a great, great opportunity to, um, uh, to get some things and uh, uh, put, them into, put them into your kid's life. I just had a thought, I was thinking about, make sure if you can, get your kids to camp with us. Make sure that if you said, Brett, I don't have any kids uh, at home. Well, hey guys, then pay for somebody to, to, to go to camp. Make sure the neighbor's kids can go. Talk to their parents, get them signed up. All you gotta do is foot the bill. And we'll, get them on the, we'll get them on the bus and, and, and we'll get them there. And uh, sorry about that. We got some folks coming in sanctuary. We've got a funeral here in just a little bit. But, but whatever's going on in, uh, in, in your world, just make sure this summer, it's very, very, very intentional, okay? Get you a plan and stick to that plan. And I'm telling you, and I know I kind of stumbled through it a while ago, but I'm telling you, if you'll come in here and grab these books, let me grab one of them. Found 
back. I didn't tell you, I told you I wasn't gonna leave you. But like those of you that have blended families, there's there's resources there. This is a great time. If God's starting to call your, your children to see them save this year, they go to camp, those kind of things are gonna be around the gospel, gonna be close to them. It's a great time to get your kids in on Wednesday night. We have wet and wild Wednesday nights here at the church. We, they really have a, a, a lot of fun. It's a great thing to invite the neighborhood kids to. Uh, dads, we got one whole section over on the corner. It's got tools on it, uh, tools for men. This one's talking about a family time sampler. I mean, what do you do? I mean, you know, you take a hick like me. I was bringing up my kids. I was married at 18, had my first son, my first child, and I was 19, had the, the baby girl when we was 21. I mean, good night. We're just trying to figure it out. You talked to me about family time. I didn't know what that was. But what it is, it's just there's, there's opportunities for you to do things together. Anyway, be intentional this summer. And like I say, grab these things up. Listen, if you need us to send them to you wherever you are on the planet, Hey, give us a holler, shoot us an email, do something. We'll see. We've got everything there from family finances to dealing with difficulties to dealing with a difficult teenager. I think there's one there for dealing with a difficult dad. I mean, you name it. We got it. We want to help you with it. Be intentional this summer. And all you kids have a great, great summertime. All right. Bye-bye.